Jennifer. I'm a lawyer and I'm in Sydney, Australia. COVID-19 has impacted me because I'm now working from home. Um, I've probably been working from home, I think, entering my ninth week now. So um, it's obviously affected me because day to day I usually go into the office and I work in an open plan environment. And so now I'm confined in my apartment working by myself um, every day. And yeah, it's definitely impacted the normal day to day routine. Working at the law firm for two years now, but on a casual basis. And I just sort of started full time um, right as the virus hit. So it's been interesting sort of adjusting and um, familiarizing myself with the work and sort of reaching out to people. I mean, with technology, it's been actually quite easy. Um, but the type of work probably hasn't been that different, but um, just the way I go about doing it has been different. The biggest challenge at the moment is just being by myself all day, every day. So that's something that's quite unfamiliar to me. I've probably never experienced anything like that before in my life um, because my partner's still going into work every day. He's not working remotely. Um, so I am pretty much by myself apart from having phone calls and sort of um, video conferencing people. So that's those are the channels that I still use to sort of maintain that connection because um, being in the office, I was used to just like turning to the person next to me and asking them a question or going up and speaking to someone face to face, which obviously that, um, that simplicity has gone. So it's adjusting to that. That's been interesting. The company that I work for has actually handled this whole um, situation very well. Um, they've tried to maintain as much connection as possible and sort of daily check-ins, um, weekly group check-ins. So I'll be talking to people every day that I'm actually working on a matter with. Um, and then the broader team will speak a few times a week. I mean, we do virtual drinks on a Friday. We do, um, sporkle quizzes throughout the week like just trying to maintain some sort of connection and doing sort of creative fun things so that everyone still feels um feels a sense of community and collaboration i can be by myself um a lot of the time I thought I probably would go more stir crazy than I have. Um, but I have learned to sort of stay in a routine and try and be productive. And um, if I'm sort of feeling down some days, I'll like pick up the phone and call family or friends. Um, and so it's just working out and accepting that if you are feeling down, that's okay. And then the days that you're feeling good, that's great as well. You can share that with your family and friends. It's definitely made everyone sort of slow down and realize that life doesn't have to be so busy and chaotic. Everyone can sort of go on and survive um, just taking time and thinking about the things that matter and the things that, um, like just a sense of, I think a sense of community and the fact that we're all in this together and it's not just even Australia, it's like a global impact. I mean, in Australia, we've sort of had back to back crises the past six months, but now it's sort of on a global scale and seeing everyone sort of helping each other and being there for each other. made me appreciate how important work is to me and the fact that it's important for me to go to the office every day and be around the people that I work with.